Meet James. Hi there. Welcome to Great American Jewelry Store. He seems like the ideal employee. He's kind. Wow. That does look beautiful on your wrist. Courteous. Thanks for shopping at Great American Jewelry Store. Thanks. You're welcome. And considerate. Barry, you've been working hard all day. Take a break, sweetie. I'll handle the counter. Thank you, James. You're so helpful. But when no one is watching, he's a little too helpful. Helping himself to some jewelry. Employee theft. It's a $15 billion a year problem that plagues businesses all across the country. If you saw this sticky-fingered salesman stealing expensive merchandise... James, you didn't see those really expensive bracelets I left here, did you? No, I didn't see anything. Did you? What would you do? The scene of the crime is the Great American Jewelry Store. This first customer meets James. How are you doing? Hi, James. Nice to meet you, Eddie. And things seem to be going well. So we've got these really nice tennis bracelets in. Oh, Check this out. We've got the last two, right? You're trying to sell me a tennis bracelet. Get out of here. <laughs> you got to admit, it's nice, though. Here, check it out. Just take oh, a look. Very nice. She does have one, though, so thank you. We'll push. Yeah, my girlfriend does not have one. Yeah, so. that's, hey, that's always, uh, that's a good <laughs> You're done. Yeah, she will, she will now. <laughs> Just whatever happens, there was only one. Gotcha. It's all fun and games until our manager steps in. Where's the other bracelet? Did you sell it already? No, I don't think there was another bracelet. I think there was just one in there, right? No, there's, we had two this morning. I feel like I only saw one, right? I mean, yeah. Well, you only saw one, too. You know I went to high school with Larry, right? He doesn't play along, but will he rat out our thief? You know what, I can check the safe uh, to see if Please anything's do. going on back there. Please do. Yeah. I had two bracelets here. I'm sure you'll get, I'm sure you'll have two again. <laughs> what do you mean, sir? I think maybe he'll find it in the safe. Did you see something? No, it's... Just one moment, I'm sorry. Sure. He seems to be covering for James. What will he say when they're alone? So I've been covering it a long time. Just do me a favor. Make that go back where it was, and that'll be fine. So I wasn't the right person to fool around with in front of, I guess. So you won't cover for me? No, just get that back, and uh, depending on what kind of conversation I'm going to have with Larry, you know, then you deal with it as it, as it goes. But What if I give you a cut? No. This good friend has one final bit of advice for our terrible thief. I wouldn't put it back in front of her. She's going to come back and see that you just, that, that just happened. Here we go. Go say you found it in the safe, but you found it on the floor or something. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, how you doing, my man? I'm John Quinones. We wanted good, to see... I was just going to body slam. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in. <laughs> you weren't going to cover for him. No, not happening. I've been in this situation many, many times, and it's just a zero tolerance. Now, whether you're not, you're gonna put somebody in jail or not, that's something else, but you're not, you are not gonna be working here later, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you were gonna see Joe. Yeah, that was, yeah, he was gone. All right, good, so I don't have to body slam you. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> I appreciate that. We roll again. Oh, wow, lovely. That's really yes. nice. It's a beautiful bracelet. <laughs> and immediately, this next customer finds herself in an icy situation. Yeah, I think I'll take it, for sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you for trying it on. Why are you sweet? Really, hold on. I just can't afford it, so let's just not talk about it right now. Please. <sighs> Take it back out, or obviously we're going to say something. Will she keep her word when we send James away? The guy who was helping me just put one of the bracelets in his jacket. Can you tell me what you saw? There was two there. Now there's one. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to him. One moment. And when James returns, this good Samaritan doubles down on her promise. Can you tell me what you saw? Yeah, I mean, he put the bracelet in his pocket. She's lying. I did not do that. OK. I mean, I don't have any benefit from this, so. Is this true, James? No. I'm going to go call the cops. Excuse me. Oh, there, there's no reason to, to do that. Yes, there is. Excuse me. Why did you do that? I'm an honest person. That's, I don't want to be involved <laughs> any further. <laughs> 
Time and again, customers made an honest man out of James. Don't you have to put it back in the box? Though? I'm not sure what you mean. You just put it in your pocket. Oh, no. Please put it back. This next customer gives our manager quite the eyewitness account. You're gonna, like, think I'm really weird, but the guy was just showing me something with these bracelets here. Huh. And one of them he took out, and asked if I wanted to try it on, and I said, man, it's Brad's side. Nice guy. But I don't know where it went. It's like it went and I didn't see it again. You said you grabbed it? No, it never wound up in there. Despite his pleas, this honest woman has no sympathy for our careless crook. Just help me out, please. Why would I want to help you out? My girlfriend, she's like, I want the expensive stuff. I'd be happy to stay here until the police okay. come. You don't have proof of that. Really? I just saw you do it. All out of options, James makes a run for it. Oh my god, he just stole your bracelet. OK, hold on. I'm going to follow him. He just stole the bracelet. How are you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's no way you were going to cover up for him. Absolutely not. Jewelry is so high priced today, and it's so hard to sell. No sympathy for this guy. No. You have to work three jobs to pay for it go and pay for it the right way. That's how I was brought up. This last customer walks in to get his granddaughter an affordable bracelet. How much is it? This one's 4000 Get the I just want to get some for my granddaughter. Right. Oh, I know. Believe me, it's way too expensive. Instead, she walks out with a priceless lesson in honesty. Yes, sir. I think you know Not very good. He just started. Put it in his pocket. You saw him put it in his pocket? Inside a suit jacket. But now he's in the back, he can go hide it anywhere. But there was two there. Right, Jane? There was two bracelets there, right? Yeah. When James returns with that bracelet... Hey, Barry, I found it in the sink. Robert Adadamarco quickly grills him. I thought there was two. There's two, but there was one out here, one in the safe. There was two there. And there was a box with it. It was in a box. Time to meet this loving grandpa. How are you? Hey. I'm John Quinones. My lord, my lord, my lord. <laughs> can't believe it. I see you on television all the time. Thank you. Why is it important to blow the whistle? It's not fair for someone to take from you or from anybody. There's too much of that crap going on in America. They said, look, I don't want to cause no problems. And at 72, I had enough problems in my life already, you know? <laughs> Later, baby. <laughs>